rabbits. Rabbits. What do you mean, rabbits? Asked Thomas. The driver laughed and pointed ahead. Beside the line near the airfield station was a post with a white disc on top. The disc had a red circle round it and a black number 10 painted on it. Rabbits have been building burrows under the line, the driver explained. They made the ground unsafe, so the fact controller had to bring in a speed limit here until the embankment can be strengthened. But it's the steepest part of the line, protested Thomas. How shall I get up the hill when any cloud will full on market day if I can't increase my speed at the bottom? You'll manage, said his fireman. If Percy's trains are heavier than yours, he won't like it much. Percy didn't. One day he sat halfway up. Daisy had to wait at the station with the top while Percy's train was divided and brought up in two sections. The sooner the fat controller has something about those rabbits, the better. Then they heard that work was to start. While the pairs were being done, Thomas was to run to the station at the top of the hill. Bertie would then carry passengers to the airfield station. And Daisy would take them to the junction. The day before the line closed, Thomas was taking Annie and Clarabel down the hill, but he felt the rails quiver beneath his wheels. Help! He exclaimed Thomas. Suddenly the left hand rail tilted. There was a crunch, and his wheels settled on the ballast. Luckily, Thomas stopped moving before Annie and Clarabel came off the rails too. The guard went back to the station to telephone for help. Percy was shunting when the call came through. You can't take those trucks to the harbour now that the line is blocked, said the station master. Please take some workmen, bring Annie and Clarabelle home, and then help Thomas. Thomas was glad when Percy arrived. While Percy took the passengers back to the station, the workmen unloaded their gear and prepared the site. The ground's unsafe for a crane even if you had one, they said. And we can't just pull you out, because that will only damage more of the line. We shall lift you on jacks, Thomas. So that way, you can slide the rails underneath your wheels. Then Percy can pull you back onto firm rails. We hope, they added. How long will that take? asked Thomas. The foreman laughed. Who knows, he said. Two hours? Maybe three? Slowly, with a jack at each corner of his frame, they lifted Thomas until they could slide lengths of rail laid on their side under his wheels. Then, very gently, he was lowered onto the rails. A strong cable was fixed to his coupling and the other end was fastened to Percy. The fat controller had come to watch are you ready? He! He called to Percy. Carefully, Percy took off the strain. The cable tightened. Percy pulled again. The cable stretched and held. Very slowly, Thomas moved backwards. His wheels running in the grooves on the sides of the rails. Then, with a jolt, first one pair of wheels then another, and at last the third, came safely back on the firm part of the railway. The men unhitched the cable, and Percy was cobbled properly to Thomas. Thank you, Percy, said Thomas gratefully, and Percy pulled him home.